Hi Alex, right now I'm in OLR at Star Island. You've been here before, but for those of you who don't know, Star Island is a small island off the coast of New Hampshire. It's about a mile circumference, very tiny. This is my culminating summary about my experience at London, which a lot of it was awesome. I am so thankful that I got to see so much theater. I I'm grateful for the experience to be in another country that even though we speak the same language, there are so many differences. I loved London. London, the city, was a wonderful city. The international feel, it was just great. My overall time there in London was not so great. I had a really rough semester. I don't even really know where to begin. I felt very distant from my peers for whatever reason. I had a rough time academically, I had a rough time socially, I had a rough time personally, emotionally. There were a lot of things that were going on. And so I can't come at this culminating experience without being honest about that it wasn't the best experience. Which is really a shame because it made it less about the cultural experience and made it more about my personal experience. And so what I'm going to share now, I guess, is my personal experience and what I've learned about culture in general. Because culture is really complicated. As I've been talking with people, a lot of people have had the opinion that you can't really know another culture other than your own. And I understand that sentiment and I understand that feeling, but I, th I think that it's hard to know your own culture. I came to this realization and this opinion as I've been here on Star, where the community is so much smaller and so much more tight-knit. Your presence, your opinions, your mere being, your personality really contributes to the culture. And I think culture is more than just understanding everyone else, but understanding where you fit in that place. So maybe that's why people say that it's hard to understand anyone else's culture except your own, because with your own, you know where you fit in your own culture. But with someone else's, if you don't feel like you fit in that culture, it's hard to really understand the culture itself. Which makes a great segue, because I guess the real thing that I learned in London, the biggest thing that I learned in London this past semester, and especially over the past few weeks after having been in London, is recognizing what communities, what cultures I really belong to. Which ones that I contribute to in a productive and meaningful way, and which ones I feel like I can really make a difference in. I'm not sure how many of you are aware, but I'm actually transferring to Brown. I am going to be sending this video as sort of a portfolio to my previous institution, but ultimately I found that where I was wasn't a culture, wasn't a community where I really had a place. But I'm in a much better place now. Not just being here on the island, but emotionally and physically, psychologically, I'm just, I'm so excited. And even though I am frustrated and saddened that I had to go through such a difficult experience in London, it did teach me things. Culture is different wherever you go, no matter what. The culture of a room, the culture of a town, the culture of a country, the culture of a religion, the culture of anything is all so different. There's gonna be a lot of videos this week. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> now that I've finished that slam poem, I can now end these the way that I want them to end, and I'm always sort of developing it. But to those who've never seen, I'm excited to meet you, and those that I have, till the next time I greet you. I am Ben Paulson, also known as Tie-Dye Guy. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm always looking for new ideas, people to share, build, and create with. And I'm always looking for... Um...
Ha! Huh. Moo, a novel. Sweet dreams.